too much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. I believe we got our player right here. Yes, we do. Exile Rewind FTC versus Two Blue Wolf. On the right, we got Shira Ryu Takeda, and on the left, I know I can see them all. This is an excellent pick for Rewind because Shira Ryu Takeda reversals are, dare I say it, not so flattering, and neither are Charles Charmful Boston. So Luke Kang is a great choice, especially Flame Fist. Totally Flame Fist. I love, I love the pick. Ooh, flame Hot Cheetos. We gonna Flame, flame Hot, hot Cheetos. Cheetos. See, see, He's not he here, blank. but we're getting yeah, it anyway. Blank. Blake don't know about the flame of hot Cheetos. I call it flame of hot Cheetos because he does a lot of chip, and w when his hands are on fire, so that's why I call it flame of hot Cheetos. Did you contrast yeah. Larry's virus? <laughs> Yo, I just came up with it. And people like it. I came up with it. And people love it. So let's see. No problem. Yeah, man. People let me jump in. Oh, flame of hot Cheetos. Get all of it. Flame of hot Cheetos. Oh, that's back one too. In here, good job. Coming after that block four, three, two, blue wolf. You gotta block after it. Nice. Oh, he could have, he could have punished that. The flame of hot. What was the first you hit that windmill punch and wake up and whip? That was two blue wolf opportunity. Stuck him with a normal. Yep. I mean, I'm sure the EF windmill fit has armor, but at that point the move had been active so long that the armor probably left. Never mind. I'm holding that so hard right now. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, that's I just hit, but we want we want to just jump right over it. Yo. You notice I hit them reversal once? There's no way it'll work. No. Because back one two or four one two, whatever it is, I don't know. It comes out so fast that I break the arm. And then again. Yeah, yeah, it does, yeah. That one two just one. Oh, yeah. but this might be a round. What a block oh, nice. that hey. that's it. Hey, well, GG. GG, GG, Flaming Hot, it's over. Too much sodium. Flaming Hot. And that hot. one block is all they <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> oh, this is dope. That, that's just crazy because whenever Takeda players set up the low kunai, their first instinct is to go for a jump kick. Yep. And when trying to block it, it, it just, more than 95% of the time, that just doesn't work out for you. You're better off just respecting the setup by either running out or challenging with a jump normal, or at least jumping back, maybe. Pay your respects. I've, I've, I've counted this setup like that it's for the past few sets I've played with Takeda players, and more often than not, it's worked out really well. Mm -hmm. The second Takeda force is so much respect from you, it when things get really hard, and it's not really hard to see why you would respect him so much. His normal is slow as they are, they control so much okay. space on the screen, also the fact that three low kunai can also be a pain, as you have just seen a bit ago, but they also hit a different part of the screen, so you don't necessarily have to block all three hits. Something that I don't think players have caught on to, which is why the defense against him kind of suffers. Nevertheless, Wind FGC demonstrated great defense on his part. Take the first game, and True Blue Wolf is just gonna take a moment to cool down and stick with his guns, or in this case, his kunai and his whips, which I approve of 100%. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Let's see what adjustments he can make here. Grant, I do think Liu Kang is a troublesome matchup for Takeda just because of the fact that he completely destroyed him up close, and it's not that hard for Liu Kang to get in. With a semi-safe flying kick, I, I say semi-safe with all the emphasis in the world because there are also <laughs> shit, even if they are um, universal across the whole cast. That is my attitude, that is his chance to challenge. Yo, that torpedo takes so much recovery, and not so much recovery, and it has no recovery actually, but you're not punishing that. And there's the low kunai again. Oh, nice catch. Oh, yeah, he did good the whole thing. Yep, it's gonna be, yep, be rewind mount. Yep, yeah, good stuff by rewind. Round two, fight. Mm. Yeah. Wrong off into anti-air with. This wolf is not gonna be blowing anybody's houses down tonight. <laughs> There's something about this fire that's going on right now. Nice jump out. But not a full punish and he put the Oh wow, he could have been one three and got a big big combo. Yo, the wall running. Yo, he just kept running. So why? Tell us how James did the recovery of Takeda's normal is. Oh wow, he parried that. That was good. I didn't even know those things there. He that back hit the phone like minus two on block, but he had normal arm fast to begin with. Okay. The only decent normal he had for his speed is his down one, but that's not going to really intimidate Liu Kang from going in, like, at all. So, in a matchup like this, I would definitely feel that Ronin is defense. the preferred variation to combat Liu Kang with, but that's not really saying much. 
So what is Wolf gonna do here? Alien. He's going to conjure our alien. Okay. Top, top one, boys? Best in the game? Oh, no, no, well, technically this would be best in the game. The character is best in the game, but this variation is kind of, uh, Trash can juice. But uh, let's see what he can do. I disagree with that personally. You think I've so? heard a lot of people say that this character is broken. This variation <laughs> is broken. I, I disagree about the part with variation. Is what, what you, once you say this variation was kind of questionable. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, what like, what does it do that uh, is benefit? What do you think? Well, there is the fact that he has those drums, and those are like what most don't realize, and that they're like, well, there was a drum talking about. Yeah, exactly. Those punch four o'clock, so even if they're blocked at close quarters, they're not punching aliens. And on top of the fact that he has that egg creates so much success, can actually open up a lot of alien options for them. Not that they're hard to open anyone up with to begin with, because he does have that crazy overhead or that low hitting tail, linking into so many options. Including right. a two overhead flip, it's only like minus seven. I don't believe Luke Kang can punish that. But then again, as I, I, I think I might have to change my stance and side with you because this kind of pick, getting Luke Kang all back, is not working out too well. Oh my, like, yo, flame and hot. It's it burning it. out down with a flawless Jeez. thing. There's nothing oh to, to get any kind of momentum going. That Rewind was, making a statement right now. He said, I'm here to take it. Anybody want to come in my way, you know what you're going to get? Flame hot. <laughs> oh my god, I've had to move to the right because I think a chunk of burning debris just dropped down my left. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. but Rewind is burning a path of domination. And it's yeah, only the sure. earlier rounds in the bracket. Yeah. See, the thing about that variation I think is like, you worry so much about the, the setups and the egg and the drum.